Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we will show you how to recover Okay, armrest right here, armrest slit. So uh, not very complicated procedure guys. Stay with us, we're gonna show you how to do that. It's on a Dodge uh, Charger. It will be the generation from 2005, I think, all the way until 2011, 10, 11, something like that. So uh, you can see this one, it's pretty bad. And they don't even sell all of those new. And if you find one, it's extremely expensive. But you can buy the leather cover for that thing and uh, only certain ones work really good we'll show you guys this one is really good quality we used it before so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to remove and replace it now okay guys we're gonna go ahead and start on it now uh, stay with us please subscribe let us know what you think guys be part of it let's grow that channel together okay guys so uh, this one it has only clips it doesn't have any screws or anything like that holding it we have a video how to remove the armrest lid if you need to so if you grab it like that there is a couple of clips okay so if you just pull it straight up okay it's going to it's going to come out okay a couple came out already okay just like that okay we pulled it out okay those are the clips we're talking about you can see how many and one of them is broken actually so yeah we I don't know if we did it, I don't see the pieces actually, so I think it was broken before. I don't know if it was removed or not, but if we broke it, we were gonna have a piece. But even though there is so many clips that it's perfectly fine, and you can see they just use a staple gun for that, uh, for that one, for the factory one, so uh, you can even do it with no glue, but uh, it, will be, it will be still better to use some glue. Stay with us, we're gonna show you how to do it now. So we need to start removing these ones one by one by hand, okay, and you can get a little bit to or a screwdriver, okay, like that, and just start prying those things out, even if we mess it up, it's fine, because we have new leather on top of it. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and do that all the way around, just the same way like we've been doing it here so far, and we will come back to it in a little bit. Alright guys, so we can just pull it out now, careful not to get one of those in your fingers because they're really sharp. Okay, and if you start pulling it on one side, you can just pull it out like that. It's very important to replace it as soon as you can because if it goes all the way through here it's going to eat the foam padding underneath which will look uh, not so good even when you install new leather on it and you can see this one is really hard the material that they used it's not uh, so resistant to UV rays and it gets really hard after a while and we're just going to clear, clean all the staples now there Okay guys, so we are going to go ahead, get the new leather covering now, okay. And just get it, get it there, adjust it. We're not going to use the staple gun yet. We're not going to use glue or anything like that. We thought about, uh, we had a beamer that we repaired and glue worked really good. But this one, it's not going to work here in that specific vehicle. You have to be the staple gun. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, get the staple gun and start on it in a second. Alright okay guys, so that's what we need now. We need a staple gun, okay, and we're going to use a quarter inch six millimeter staples. Okay, and let's go ahead and install the, the cover now. See how it's going to look. Really excited about it. Tired of looking at that thing cracked all the way. And it's only like 18 bucks, so not expensive at all. Okay, you need to make sure that it's tight all the way around okay and we're going to start on one side just make sure it's centered okay and we're going to staple it now so two people will be really handy for that job okay and this one didn't go in all the way but okay this one is still a little bit but it's still holding okay we're going to pull a couple on this side now so we can install this here 
make sure it's not loose and before we go all the way around on one side we're just going to go ahead and install the back and the front as well just to make sure that everything is centered and if it's not we'll have less to do that way okay it's important to get the corners as well there and we'll need to use a little hammer to hammer those in because uh, some of them do not go in all the way because the staple gun is not too powerful but there is not much to hold there so that'll be fine okay this one didn't work there so we're going to snap one more okay that's holding pretty good now and we're going to go all the way around and go to the front okay just make sure it's tight always pull on it and we are almost ready to start on the front now okay that worked pretty good and you can see what it looks like guys we're going to just install a few more later and we'll come back to the plastic it's important when you install it that you get those pieces in right here towards the front okay so you don't break those okay like that and now we need to go all the way in until it clicks okay on each side so just like that as you can see and that's what it looks like guys a hundred times better than what it was before production team of auto repair guys here they expected it this time it's important when you install it that you get those pieces in right here towards the front okay so you don't break those okay like that and now we need to go all the way in until it clicks okay on each side so just like that as you can see and that's what it looks like guys a hundred times better than what it was before production team of auto repair guys here they expected it this time okay we're going to apply a little bit of leather conditioner now because uh, this one probably hasn't been used hasn't had any since it's a new thing okay you can see how it's going to shine it up and keep it uh, and prevent it from cracking okay perfect so that guys will be the whole procedure right here so thank you guys for watching please subscribe give us a like and see you next time